Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the fungal classification. That is, fungus has been classified into various groups depending on few criteria. So, we are going to introduce ourselves into the different classifications that has been done in Kingdom Fungi and what are the criteria that have been used in this classification of the Kingdom Fungi. So, what happens? The criteria which were mostly used for the process of fungal classification are as follows. So, these are the few uh, criteria that had been used to classify fungi. First of all, morphology. So, what do we mean by morphology? Morphology is the external appearance of the organism, how it looks like, how it's, uh, what are the behaviors of this type of organism. It includes morphology. Now, in classification in morphology, what happens? the vegetative structures they mostly do not play important roles in the process of classification but on the other side the reproductive structures they play a very vital role in case of these type of classifications because of the fact that the vegetative the reproductive structures of these type of fungi they vary a lot in different types of or different species of the fungi so we have talked about there are about 100000 species so, in all these species, the reproductive structures varies very prominently and hence it can be used as a criteria to classify fungi. Now, the types of spores and the dispersal is also studied, taken care as a criteria in order to classify fungi. We have talked in our previous videos about the seven different types of spores that can be produced by fungi in order to reproduce asexually. So, those spores and the process or methods of dispersal is also taken into consideration in order to classify. In addition to that, the life cycle followed by these type of fungi is also used as a criteria. The physiology as well as the biochemistry which means the metabolic reactions or the type of chemical reactions these type of fungi is performing within its body is used as a criteria in order to classify fungi. So, based on all these criteria we have been talking about, fungi has been divided into four major groups. So, what are these? First of all, phycomycetes, these are also given a term, these are also basically known as the algal fungi. The second type is known as ascomycetes, they are also known as the sac fungi. The third is known as the basidomycetes, also called the club fungi. And the fourth one, the fourth type is known as deuteromycetes. These are also known as the fungi imperfecti. Now, in our coming videos, we will be talking about all these types of uh, major groups of the fungi in detail. We will be talking about the different characteristic features, its reproductive features in detail. So, I hope you have liked this video. Thank you.